Hey guys, we're done hunting for the day, but we're going to get this deer that my uncle shot, and then we're gonna go, it's a really small seven, and then my other uncle shot a doe. So let's just tell you what happened. Okay, so first thing, remember I told you I heard that deer grunting? It's like an hour later, my uncle shot, and the, so there are three, or there were only two, one deer that he could see, but after he shot, he dropped the deer right where it was, the thing didn't even move. And um, after he shot, um, he just, he saw two other deer run to my other uncle, and he, he shot he shot a doe, because he already shot two bucks. It was a doe and a spike, and um, he shot that one right in the butt. And I don't know, and like, he, he ran, he, he ran for a while. We, he didn't, we, didn't th we, we didn't think he even hit him. And, and so, I think, yeah, so after that, my uncle, because he was, he finished cutting his deer, he went to look for that deer and try to spook some up so we could hit some. And then he would, he found some hair on the deer and he found the deer. It's crazy. So yeah, let's go find this deer. Seven Magnum loaded up up there. Yeah. I shot the deer with my 30 out six, but. You had two guns in the car? Or in the snow? Oh, you had a pistol. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and, uh, I. For a coyote? Here, what? For a coyote? I was gonna shoot a fox or a doe. But looking at that buck, I was like, man, I should have just. I thought it was a little bit bigger oh, when yeah. I shot it. But I was like, man, look, if I'd have known it was like that, I, you know, I'd have pulled out my pistol and tried it. It was only like 20 yards. Well, I think because I've been the stainless or coughs a lot, I think he just pushed that beer. Because <laughs> they, you, we can hear him grunt. Where, where are you talking? On the fence line or on our property? Oh, on our property, like just below the grassy knoll. Yeah, on the other side of that. The they were at. I know, but I kept hearing you guys in my ear, and then like I hear I'm like. Yeah, the, when they came up towards me, I heard the doe. I remember I was talking on the radio and telling you guys the story when the one shot this deer. But I was in the middle of it. Well, I heard him on that side early this morning running okay. and grunting. And it was loud. I mean, I heard a thing grunting from like 200 yards. Yeah, and I just saw a flash. One, two, three deer, uh, right? Okay. And then they were down here. That's when I said, hey, you guys might see him or whatever. Well, then it was like an hour. They were down in here scrolling around. Then I heard a loud doe bleat, like okay. that sound. And I was like, that's the first time I've heard that in the woods. I was like, geez. I'm like, sounds like, a, I was like, I'm pretty sure that was a doe bleat right down here. Then I heard a couple grunts, and I was like, the deer right down here below me. And I'm just kind of sitting there. And uh, about a minute later, I hear a soft grunt. And I look to the left. It's like buck standing right out in the open. I'm like, geez. So we pull up the shot. It's up there near where I shot it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Can you even see it? Oh, no, I don't think it looks like it. He didn't want me to drag it. Watch there be a, like ten deer back in the back over there by the field. No. Where 
Where is it? Oh, there it is. Dead. There's the deer. That's crazy. Let's go for the picture. Thank you for watching today's video. Uh, stay tuned for the next Landers Fish on Hunting. Bye.